There are times when you might want to run Windows 10 in safe mode. Why? Well, you could be trying to troubleshoot hardware issues, clean up possible infections, reset permissions, and so on. There are a few different methods of getting into safe mode, such as pressing start, power, and then restart, but while pressing the shift key down, which to me, I really don't like that method because there's way too many screens to navigate through after the fact. Or you can use the MS config utility, which is also quite easy. My preferred method is using BCD edit or the boot configuration data store editor, as to me, it offers a lot more control. But before using this, you need to make sure you back up your data store. And to do that, click on start and begin by typing command. When you see command prompt, right click on it and run as administrator. Once this pops up on the screen, the command that we want to type is bcd edit space forward slash export space and then the location and name of the file. So if anything goes wrong, there is a restore option for bcd edit that you can actually go in and find this particular file that I just created and you can restore it to reset whatever you may have done wrong. Now, to get into safe mode, there are a couple of different options, but the most standard one that you'll use is the following command, bcd edit space forward slash set space default in curly brackets space safe boot and minimal. Once you do this, it will say that the operation has completed successfully. Now, a word of caution here, you can see in brackets I've put default because I only have one operating system on this computer. There are some people who have multiple operating systems, in which case this will only ever change their default. If you want to see the actual value for the default, if you just type BCD edit, you can see, you look in here for default and it'll actually give you a number. So where I have default is current. If you've got multiple operating systems, it'll list them all in this list and it'll have an ID number there. Instead of using default, use that ID number and that'll get you in. So at this point, if I reboot, I'll be in safe mode. Alrighty, let's reboot the operating system. Here's why I like this option. You can see right now we're in safe mode. If I reboot again, I'm going to come straight back into safe mode because BCD edit has set our default booting sequence to go into safe mode. If I want to get out of this, I need to disable the safe boot option. So this works really well for me when I'm troubleshooting computers and I don't want to go back into the regular operating system. I always want it in safe mode, especially when removing viruses. So once you're done with safe mode, you would click on start again, type command. Again, you have to run it as administrator. And the command that we want to type in this to this case is bcd edit space forward slash and we are going to delete the value now. So we go delete value space and again the curly brackets with the word default in it space and safe boot. So keep in mind, if you come into safe mode this way, it's always going to reboot into safe mode each time. Now, if you have an operating system that's stuck in the safe mode reboot cycle, you can also try this because it may have written something in the background and this will get rid of it. So it'll tell us the commands completed successfully. And once again, we will restart our computer. As you can see, we're back into Windows, no problem. There's an occasion where you might want to run safe mode with a command prompt only and not actually load up the GUI. In this case, same thing, click on run, command, right click, run as administrator. And the, there's two commands that we want to type in. The first is a repeat of exactly what we typed before. So BCD edit, etc., safe boot, minimal. Once that is set, there's a second command here that we want to do, and that does a uh, alternate shell, or in, other, in this case, it actually removes the graphical user interface. So this particular command, same thing, bcd edit space forward slash set default safe boot alternate shell, yes. This will allow us to actually boot without the graphical user interface. So let's give this a try now. We'll click on start and restart. As you can see, we're at the command prompt without any graphical user interface. If you want to get back into the regular mode. Again, you use the bcd edit command space forward slash delete value. And in this case, we want to delete the value in our default configuration. And we're deleting the safe boot option. Now there is another command we have to type as well. 
We have to also delete the value for the safe boot alternate shell. If we don't, whenever you come into safe mode, it's going to bring you up with this command prompt interface and you're going to think something's wrong with your safe mode, but it's not. You just have to delete the safe boot alternate shell and yes. Sorry, without the yes on the end. So just safe boot alternate shell. Once you've typed that in, reboot your system. And in this case, you can just go to shutdown minus reboot minus force minus T for time and zero. Okay, we're back into regular Windows now. So this is another command that you might find quite helpful as well. Again, bring up the command prompt. And this time, the command that we want to do is actually bring back the original F8 boot menu. So in this case, we do BCD edit space set default boot menu policy legacy. Now, once that's set, when you reboot, it'll bring up the F8 boot menu options. If you don't want that anymore, it's the same command boot menu policy and you replace legacy with standard and that'll set it back to the Windows 10 boot menu. Now, here's where I use this particular thing or BCD edit a lot is if I want to go into safe mode, but only on one occasion, I don't want this to be the permanent value of my operating system. Same command, you can go BCD edit space forward slash set space current or default one time advanced options space on. So that'll give me one time it'll allow me allow me to choose to go into safe mode. What this does is not your F8 boot menu, but the Windows 10. So instead of going through all those menus where you go shift or start power, shift key, restart, go through all the different menu options, this will bring up those advanced options right away. So as soon as we go OK here, let's restart our computer. And there we go. So instead of going through all those options, this is how you can get to this particular advanced options screen without having to go through all the different menus. And once you're done with this, just press enter and it's only a one time thing. So it won't be on permanently. So you don't have to go back into BCD edit and turn one time advanced options off. And there you see, we're back into our regular operating system. No further issues. So hopefully this has been help to you guys. Uh, like I say, if you're comfortable using BCD Edit, certainly do so, but make sure you do that backup ahead of time, just in case something goes wrong. So until next time, folks, take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.